Let's talk about Kamarada Gates, episode 8. Now get ready for today's highlight. A winded and defeated Sakurai recaps last week's episode. He doesn't film it in his regular room, but actually in the break room of the Desire Grand Prix. Sarah calls Sakurai to ask him if he's okay because the Jamato are attacking the city. The Jamato takes a person right next to Sarah and a group of Jamato run after Sarah. Nago practicing her kicks in the break room. Her kicks are so good, they ricochet straight to Azuma's head. We see Sakurai leave in the break room and Georgi tells the players that the Jamato have returned to the city. Sakurai tells Tsurumi to teleport him. She asks Sakurai if he's sure about it because he's in bad shape. He tells her it doesn't matter because his sister is in danger. Tsurumi warns him not to face the boss head on. Sakurai runs off in search of his sister. Azuma believes that it's going to be or him or Ace. The rider transforms. We see Sarah surrounded by the group of Jamato, but Sakurai comes to save her. Sarah touches Sakurai's ID core and she starts remembering the day that her and Sakurai's parents died. It wasn't an accident. They died by the hand of the Jamato. The Desire Grand Prix is the reason for Sakurai's parents' death. But Sakurai didn't know any of it. But Sarah saw her parents die in front of her eyes. The reason that Sakurai didn't know that is because he wasn't there that day. And because of that, he didn't remember it when he touched the ID core. The Jamato takes Sarah while Sakurai is getting stepped on. Azuma starts fighting Ace for the ninja buckle, but they end their fight after Nago tells them that the boss disappeared. Tsurumi is worried that this game would have the record of the largest amount of victim ever. Sakurai gets patched up by Georgi and he tells both Ace and Nago that his parents were killed by the Jamato. Ace looks at his coin, remembering his mother. Sakurai tells them that he has a plan and that is to team up. One would distract the Jamato while the other kicks the Ken. Azuma doesn't want to participate. The same with Nago. She tells Sakurai that she wants to win on her own terms. Ace tells Sakurai that no one here is wrong. No one here would sacrifice themselves for the rest of the world. Sakurai tries to rebuttal if it's okay for everyone else to be sacrificed. But Ace asks him if Sarah can be saved and them two can be happy together. Would he care for the rest of the world? Ace tells Sakurai that if he wants something, he should fight for it. In the city, we see a big tree holding all the humans that the Jamato took. The Jamato grows in size. The riders transform, but Sakurai yells at the boss to have his attention. Sakurai starts running away from the boss's attack. Before Ace can use the ninja buckle, it flies away from him. In the end, the boss managed to hit Sakurai, but when the boss is about to hit a big attack on Sakurai, Sakurai transforms into a tree because the ninja buckle has attached himself to Sakurai. Ace explains it to a confused Azuma. He tells him because the buckle reasoned with Sakurai, because he was acting in the way of the shinobi, and that is accomplishing your mission even if you sacrifice yourself. Sakurai continues to run from the boss's attack, and then he activates the boost buckle and starts running on the boss's body, slashing his way to the tree, rider kicking it, saving everyone. The rest of the riders are running to the can. Ace kicks it first, but before the boss can catch it, Nago kicks it away from the Jamato area, but the Jamato just teleport. No announcement of a winner, because both Nago and Ace kick the Ken, no one beat the boss, so that means the desired dating mode still continues. Sarah checks on Sakurai, telling him that he's a really awesome adult now. Tsurumi comes in and tells Sakurai that it's too risky for him to continue because of his condition, so he has been eliminated. And when Sakurai asks Tsurumi if he would come back to his regular life, Tsurumi answers yes. Sakurai is actually thankful about that. Sakurai tells Ace to take the ninja buckle. He tells him that it saved his sister. 
but Ace tells him that he did because of his undying heart. Sakurai asks him if he was lying. Ace jokingly answers that maybe, who knows? Sakurai's final words before disappearing, it's not easy to save the world. Tsurumi declares that Sakurai isn't longer qualified to be a Kamen Rider. Ace gives Sakurai's shuriken to Sera and he tells to Tycoon that he will end this world with his own hands. The rule of the week, in case of emergencies, as such as serious injuries or illnesses that prevent participants from continuing, they are eliminated. Man, what an episode. Everybody thought that the game is going to be won by Sakurai. But now, with him gone right now, who's gonna win? It's pretty much between Nago and Ace. I don't see Azuma actually winning yet. I think his wish would lead to way more of a PvP style of Desire Grand Prix that would probably fit in way more for a second arc climax. Eliminating Sakurai gives more development to the Desire Grand Prix and the idea they don't want any of the participants to die from at least an illness or an injury because they probably want to pick them again for the next game. This episode shows that Sakurai's view of the game, how much it is righteous, it can't work in the game fully. And clearly because of his views, he actually got injured. But it doesn't mean that this is the end of Sakurai's story. It doesn't mean that he wouldn't get picked again as Tycoon. And if he does, it's going to be even sadder when he rediscovers that the reason for his parents' death was because of the Desire Grand Prix. And probably when he is going to be the god of desire, he would wish for a world without the Jamato or the Desire Grand Prix, and his elimination could lead to something against Ace if Sakurai would be re-picked again. And now for, at least for me, the most interesting part about this episode is the semi-discovery that the buckles are semi-sentient, at least the big ones, because the ninja buckle flew away from Ace to Sakurai because it reasoned with him? There are very much two options. Or the buckles are weirdly sentient, or the game master, probably the man in the mask, is controlling the buckles and he controls whoever gets what type of buckle. Who knows? Certainly we don't. So yeah, what you thought about this week's episode? Did you enjoy it? Tell me down below in the comments. Next episode looks like the end of this game and the beginning of a whole new one. So let me down in the comments what you thought about this review. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.